most secretive and fantastic airplanes. They can be mistaken for UFOs. Something is mesmerizing for a person in airplanes, probably coming from the subconscious, from the underlying desire to fly, from the desire to do something that you're completely deprived of. And just an explosion of emotions causes the sight of airplanes as if descended from the screens of science fiction movies. Surely, any person at the sight of Northrop B-2 Spirit taking off or landing will exclaim, Wow! Fantastic! And how majestically the biggest airplane in the world, AN-225 Mariah, unfortunately destroyed by the Russians, irradiated the air. But if you think that B-2 Spirit, AN-225 Mariah, or F-22 Raptor are the pinnacle of aircraft construction, and that there's nothing more fantastic yet, you're wrong. In this video, we'll tell you about three of the most secret and most fantastic U.S. airplanes, more like UFOs that almost no one has seen on Earth yet. In November 2014, residents on the east coast of the U.S. and southern parts of the U.K. were shocked by eerie sounds in the sky. They resembled a series of explosions or gunshots. Later, on the internet, appeared a recording of these sounds, which was made by a resident of London on her phone. Reliable reasons for the strange noise have not yet been proven, so there are many versions in statement. All high for the stick and cleaning powder. And it's about such an unusual phenomenon. One of them is the testing of the American top-secret super reconnaissance aircraft from the Aurora Project. American authorities assure that such an airplane has never been created, but there are dozens of facts and evidence of meeting with it. It's known that the secret triangle-shaped aircraft can take off at an altitude of 17 miles, as well as fly at an impressive speed of more than 4,300 miles per hour. We're talking about one of the most classified prototypes called TR-3B Black Manta. Journalists claim that it's a continuation of the legendary SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft, Created in 1964, the Blackbird at that time had fantastic characteristics, a speed of 2,200 miles per hour and a maximum climb altitude of 16 miles. The U.S. successfully used the device during combat operations in Vietnam, and there it demonstrated amazing results. In general, the SR-71 was the only aircraft that the Vietnamese failed to hit. But in 1998, the thrushes were withdrawn from service, and at the time, there was no replacement for them. For more than 50 years of operation of the airplane, it was not possible to create a more advanced model for reconnaissance purposes with supersonic flight speed. Aviation enthusiasts do not believe that no replacement has been created and are ready to dig the ground to find any evidence of the existence of a completely new airplane. And they've even managed to achieve some success. For example, a careful study of the U.S. budget determined that a total of 2 to $3 billion was spent on a mysterious Project Aurora until the early 90s. And already in the early 90s began to appear everywhere stories about meeting with UFOs. And it would be possible not to give these stories of special importance if not for one interesting point. UFOs met only in the U.S. and Britain. All objects resembled a black triangle and also left an unusual inversion trail in the air. Witnesses noted that this trace was not a straight line but round exhaust like donuts on a string. Also, the media appeared in the combat characteristics of the device and they're fantastic. The speed of flight is six times the speed of sound, and the height reaches 24 miles. At the moment, there's not a single air defense system on the planet which could eliminate this device. In February 1988, the Chinese magazine Gung Ho shared the first open investigation about the Aurora. It reported that the Americans were building a supersonic vehicle for reconnaissance purposes, capable of flying at Mach 7 and climbing to an altitude of 47 miles. It can carry three crew members inside and uses methane as fuel. In March 2006, investigative journalist Nick Cook shared an image of an inversion trail stretching from Nevada across the Atlantic Ocean. However, the aircraft that left the trail was not recorded. Soon, sensors from a geological organization in Southern California recorded a series of sonic booms with the source of the sound located high in the sky, not underground. The geoservice notes were studied by a former NASA employee who concluded that a sonic boom of such impressive power was left by an airplane flying at supersonic speed at an altitude of 17 miles. There were also media reports that the mysterious TR-3B Black Manta airplane used anti-gravity technology, 
Seems like the ultimate sci-fi. But even in Hitler's Germany, along with projects of atomic bombs and ballistic missiles, anti-gravity developments were underway. And maybe the Americans in 1945 captured not only Werner von Braun and Arthur Rudolph, who created the first American long-range ballistic missile, but also some other scientists. An ion engine is used as the basis for the anti-gravity unit. Either mercury or an inert gas is used as the propellant. The fuel ends up in an ionizer, where it's bombarded by electrons with high energy capacity and broken into positive and negative ions. Under the influence of the electrostatic field, they're accelerated to hypersonic speed. If in a classical rocket engine, the speed of ions reaches 2.8 ms, an ion engine up to 130 ms. A plasma cloud is formed around the airplane, which in turn creates an anti-gravity field around the ship. Sounds vague, of course, but no more definitive information is available yet. The last news about the TR-3B Black Manta dates back to September 2014. Social media users witnessed the appearance of an unusual military aircraft over the state of Oregon. As can be seen in the presented photos, the aircraft has a triangular shape. However, speculation that we're talking about the first clear pictures of the TR-3B Black Manta aircraft caused a lot of controversy. As you've seen in the photos and in the corresponding video, the airplane is unusual. There are obvious similarities with the semi-legendary TR-3B Black Manta. So far, this is all that's known about the fantastic TR-3B Black Manta airplane, if it exists at all, of course. But too many facts say that, yes, it does exist, and it flies. Even less is known about the next secret U.S. project than Project Aurora, but it's more certain that it exists. On the website of Planet Lab, a private company that develops and manufactures miniature CubeSat satellites on January 26, 2022, a mysterious aircraft was spotted on the territory of the Area 51 base in the United States. The airplane was located near the Southern Hangar, a massive building built about eight years ago at some distance from the base itself. And previously, there was no particular activity near this hangar. In later Planet Lab images, the aircraft of unknown type with a triangular wing was already north of the hangar. Area 51 is probably the most mysterious military facility in the world. On the pictures of the base, we can't see even a small part of the work that's going on there. At least several programs related to hypersonic and new generation aircraft are being developed at this base. Some experts have already expressed their opinion. It may be a prototype of the sixth generation fighter, as it's similar to the concept shown to the U.S. Armed Forces earlier. And more recently, on July 10th this year, on social media of aircraft corporation Lockheed Martin, was published an image with the contours of military aircraft. Among them, there's a silhouette of a previously unknown fighter jet. It's possible that this is the same military vehicle that was photographed at the base of Area 51. That is the sixth generation fighter, which is being developed under the next generation air dominance program project, abbreviated NGAD. The sixth generation fighters should become invulnerable to air defense systems. They should be able to hide from radar, fly faster than anti-aircraft missiles, and operate effectively outside the range of anti-aircraft systems. Judging by the image, the new fighter will have no tail feathers, this reduces visibility, glider, flying wing, narrow nozzles, engines are likely to be placed in the fuselage. The transparent part of the cockpit suggests that the fighter will be manned, although it may also be equipped with a remote control option. From the reports of Lockheed Martin, we know that the sixth generation fighter will have a pair of heels and they're made folding. In some modes, they should lie in the appropriate niches on the wing. In the nose of the aircraft is the cockpit and equipment compartments. On the sides of it are developed engine nacelles. Air intakes are brought out on the upper side of the wing and covered from the radiation from below, similarly made flat nozzles with louvered deflectors. The airplane has a pair of engines of unknown type. The NGAD program report states that the aircraft may be equipped with engines designated as V1, V2, and V3. We can assume that one of the options may be a rotary detonation engine, active development on which is underway in the United States and Russia. If these developments are successful, we can expect a significant increase in the fuel efficiency of new engines, which in turn promises either a sharp increase in flight duration or a significant increase in the speed and altitude of the aircraft, up to 25 miles. This could already be considered near space, and the speed of the airplane will closely approach hypersonic. This will lead to a significant increase in overload. In a case cannot exceed 8Q, any more than that, the pilot simply can't handle it. This will lead to severe limitations on the aerobatic capabilities of the airplane. Therefore, it's certain that the sixth generation fighter will have an unmanned version equipped with artificial intelligence, 
or the airplane will be able to be operated both with and without a pilot. The key quality of the new airplane is still low observability. The design and contours of the aircraft are shaped to reduce reflected signal. The probability of detection from the ground is reduced. An interesting solution is the folding keel. Depending on current needs, they can lie on the wing and reduce the effective dispersion area or be raised to the operating position, increasing flight and maneuverability characteristics. And finally, a third aircraft that could also be confused with some kind of UFO. This is the Northrop Grumman X-47B, a demonstration combat drone designed for aircraft carrier operations. It's created in the form of a widely curved letter V without a tail part. The sweep of the leading edge of the wing is 55 degrees, and the trailing edge is 35 degrees. The landing gear of the drone is made in a three-propeller version. For flight control, the UAV is equipped with six working planes. The drone consists of four parts assembled from composite materials and joined approximately in the middle of the body. Aircraft weight, 6.35 tons. Maximum takeoff weight, 20.2 tons. Payload weight, 2 tons. Turbojet propulsion, one Pratt & Whitney F100 220 engine with a thrust of 8 tons. Maximum speed, 615 miles per hour. Cruising speed, 332 miles per hour. Maximum range, 2400 miles. Practical ceiling, 7.5 miles. Due to the project's primary requirement, carrier-based capability, the X-47B acquired the design features characteristic of deck carry. The 62-foot span wing had folding arms to allow taxiing in the limited space on the ship. In the raised position, the overall width of the airplane was halved. The tail section of the airframe featured a brake lug designed to capture the air finisher cable. On July 10, 2013, the X-47B launched from the Patuxent River and landed on the deck of the George Bush Sr., making the first ever UAV landing on an aircraft carrier at sea. In August 2014, the U.S. Navy announced that it had integrated the X-47B into aircraft carrier operations alongside manned aircraft. The final stage of flight testing in May 2015 was to practice in-flight refueling and in automatic mode. The aircraft approached the refueler and independently, with the help of an infrared camera, found the refueling basket. Thus, X-47B became the first unmanned aircraft refueled in the air. To imagine the possibilities of using UAVs on board an aircraft carrier, let's give an example. The U.S. Navy's aircraft carrier multi-purpose group with an aircraft carrier carrying X-47B combat UAVs is near the coast of India and can control all of Asia, Africa, and even make reconnaissance flights over the capital of Russia. Although the grouping of ships itself would be out of range of the weapons of the presumed enemy, the loss of a drone during combat operations is a loss the U.S. Navy is willing to accept because it's only a financial loss. After the test program was completed, the two X-47B demonstrators were to become museum pieces, but the Navy later decided to keep them in flying condition pending further development. This concludes our story about the most secretive U.S. airplanes of recent times. We hope you enjoyed it.